Hi, hello there, my name is Kayla Bell, and today I want to talk about you, or at least how the world identifies you. So a really popular thing on the internet today are personality indicator memes. So these are basically posts where they give you a multitude of choices on a certain topic, and then your preference indicates what that means about your personality. Now the most popular subsection of these memes are astrology posts, where based on your zodiac sign, they say what that means about you on the most random of topics. I had a post the other day that said, because I'm a Gemini, I'm a fruitcake. Stop Gemini Slender 2K16. Now, some people don't believe in the stars and all that BS, but you can't deny what you like. So, I've compiled a list of personality indicators based on your personal preferences that I think really get to the heart of who we are as people. So, let's talk about it. Tea or coffee? People who prefer tea are more likely to consider themselves spiritual. They're very flexible people, and chances are they're probably English or had an Anglophile phase at some point in their life. People who prefer coffee are easily frazzled, obviously. They have very strong opinions and they love debates and they're very brand loyal. Every person I know who drinks coffee has a specific, and I don't care. I don't. Dogs or cats? Like their companions, people who like dogs are loyal and affectionate. They're very much doers and they enjoy working with their hands. People who prefer cats are more planner types. They're very self-reliant and highly intelligent. Chocolate versus vanilla. Vanilla means you're a very level-headed person. Like if all of your friends jumped off a bridge, you wouldn't jump too. Liking chocolate means that you'd most likely be the second person to jump off a bridge. Right after you saw Rocky Road doing it. Which is the worst because that means you watch Rocky Road jump and then you jump too. Like, what's wrong with you? Red or blue? People who like the color red are normally thrill seekers. They're very visual people who love to start projects but can't really finish them. People who like the color blue are normally more detail oriented. They normally think things out before they attempt them and they probably think they're way cooler than they actually are. Coke or Pepsi? People who enjoy Coke are resistant to change and probably own the pair of Beats by Dre. People who like Pepsi are easily swayed and probably very heavily affected by Britney Spears piercing her belly button in 2000. Rihanna or Rita Ora? People who enjoy Rihanna are aesthetically charged. They really like when things look good. Very busy people, so they're probably a bit messy, but once it gets to a certain point, they just have to clean everything. People who enjoy Rita Ora? I didn't say anything because no one chooses her. I don't, I don't really get this comparison, so. Flats or heels? Preferring flats means that you value comfort and your own personal sense of security. Preferring heels means you probably never puked in a bush. Yet. Nacho cheese versus Cool Ranch Doritos. People who prefer Cool Ranch appreciate comfort over new experiences. For example, they normally have a usual at restaurants, but they are very fast learners when they want to pick up a new trade. People who prefer Nacho Cheese Doritos are normally young spirits at heart. They're highly skilled at one thing other than being okay at a multitude of things, and they don't wash their hands. I, 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 w I would like you to wash your hands. Maybe you'd be better at picking up new hobbies if your hands were covered in cheese dust. Just a thought. Hug or handshake? If you prefer hugs, that means you're more of a conversational person. You're open to sharing and you give off a very warm and receiving vibe. If you prefer handshakes, that means you don't respect me, Jonathan. I'm your girlfriend. This is getting weird. Like, what are, are, you, are you trying to say you don't like me anymore? In sync or Backstreet Boys? People who are team in sync are all about status. They're very individualistic and are dedicated to honing their skills and becoming the best version of themselves they can be. People who are team Backstreet Boys are just in it for the memories. They just love being part of a team. And as long as they're having a good time, they can't really lose. If I were to say, hey now, you would either respond with, you're an all-star, or this is what dreams are made of. People who respond with, you're an all-star, are more loyal and grounded people who probably have an attachment to Canada or Shrek. People who respond with, what dreams are made of, are more dreamy and nostalgic type people, and they're probably still waiting on Paolo to sing to them. Or they were just petty from a young age, like Kate. She was super petty, like, for why? The kissy face versus the hard eyes emoji. The kissy face means that you're an open and affectionate person who's unafraid of PDA. The hard eyes emoji means that you're afraid of commitment, Jonathan. It's been four years. Why don't you love me? Beer, wine, or liquor. If you like beer, then you're probably a very social person and you're compensating for something. If you like wine, you know your limits, but you can't say no to people. These people are normally very tightly wound and probably love scandal. If you prefer liquor, well then you are my kind of pal. Do you pour your cereal then milk or milk then cereal? People who pour their cereal then their milk are good people, logical people. They have goals and dreams. They're about something with their lives. People who pour their milk and then the cereal, you just want to watch the world burn, don't you? I think making this video means that I think I'm funnier than I actually am, but like, whatever. I'm still gonna do it. And there you have it. Now you guys know everything that you need to know about yourselves. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Comment below with your preferences and what you think that actually says about you. I'll probably put my answers in the description box if anybody cares to get to know me. And don't forget to subscribe because I make new videos every Thursday. And I will see you next week with a new video. 
Peace. Stay tragic. Can I just say that if cis men got periods, things would be a whole lot different. Probably get paid time off work. It'd be a viable excuse to get out of school. You'd come up with some instantaneous miracle drug that'd be paid for through your health care. We'd probably have universal health care, guys.